Okay. I'm extremely happy to be part of this uh, reopening of uh, the Howard. The reason why uh, playing here is so important to me. Um, rarely do I get to play spots that my own father played with his own group. And um, the Howard was part of the mighty trio of venues that uh, many black artists that were sort of stuck on the chitlin circuit actually looked forward to playing in uh, in the early uh, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Of course, I know that the Howard has been there since the turn of the century, but you know, for black artists, playing the Apollo in New York was just as important as playing uh, the Uptown in Philadelphia and the Howard in D.C. And my father always told me stories of doing shows down here, watching the Isley Brothers uh, jump off stage and do splits in the audience, um, which amazed me because I'm like, how, how come they didn't break their legs when, when doing that? Um, a very good friend of mine, uh, Alan Weeds, who has been um, kind of the spiritual godfather and tour manager for so many people like um, Chris Rock and Maxwell and D'Angelo and Prince and uh, so many other luminaries. Like he told me a lot of stories of how he first saw James Brown at this theater. Um, so he told me, you know, about the legacy of this theater. So I'm very proud to have finally played here. Maybe that's the sign of God. <laughs> that's James Brown's spirit right, right now flashing on me. <laughs> yeah, I'm very honored to be here.